We did allow Catholics in after the Revolutionary War was over. Thank you, isn't that beautiful? That's our Catholic cathedral. I'm going to get you a better look here. You'll see it in a little bit. But yeah, like, this church is the biggest house, alright? We call ours now the church. A rolling church at that. Well, but, you know, we would have a meeting. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? We could have a meeting house. It, which could be at my house and we could have beer and barbecue. Okay, that's that's how easy it was to have a church back in the day. But there's our Catholic cathedral. Uh, the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist is what they call this. This is the second church building on this site. The first one also burned down. Remember those fires. Uh, but uh, they started this building in uh, 1890. They completed the building in 1902. Everything except for the steeple. The steeple would at, was added in 2010. So it's kind of been a work in progress. Now you see the beautiful golden cross up there. That is actually just made out of wood and painted gold. See here in Charleston, we like to make things fancier than they really are. <laughs> so it appears that that's a fancy gold cross. It's real. Uh, we're good at that here in Charleston. And I can say that because I was born and raised here. So. Yeah, it's a cute little puppy. She's all about her business too. <laughs> she is on a mission. She is. Now, when I was telling you about the walled city, the walled city was roughly six blocks by six blocks, okay? So it wasn't very big, and the walls were actually made out of our palmetto law, our palmetto trees. This is also the state tree here in South Carolina as well. Now, they use this particular wood because it is very porous, and it would either absorb a cannonball or bounce it back off. So that was Pete. Pete, get over. Gotta give a win. There you go. Mm, good girl. Thank you, ma'am. But uh, this is, like I said, is also the state tree here in South Carolina. So it was readily available. And you can kind of tell right here where the bark's coming off of it, how actual porous the wood really is. Um, but anyway, uh, they took the walls down in 1720 and started expanding the city. Now, the thing about this is, is that uh, today about 40% of our peninsula is land built. So now we have a lot of problems with flooding. Uh, it's kind of becoming more and more every year a problem down here. Um, now, we have what we call our Board of Architectural Review, okay? Uh, and we have our Preservation Society. Uh, there's a couple many rules of this board. You cannot tear down anything 75 years or older. You can't build any building higher than the tallest church people. Well, so that's why you don't see a whole lot of skyscrapers here in the whole historic district. However, you do see them when you're coming in on uh, the surrounding area. And those are the parts that are flooding the most. Maybe you shouldn't build heavy buildings on top of the mud. <laughs> I'm no uh, architect, but you know. Now really quick, Queen Street Grocery, I always like to point it out, kind of a local place. Uh, within the block around us, we have a couple celebrities that live here. We have a guy named Darius Rucker, uh, who lives in the old Bishop's house for the cathedral. Uh, and a guy named Bill Murray. Uh, they live within a block. They hang out there quite a bit. And I'm very excited about this. So excited. I can't wait to see what they're going to do to it. Uh, but he had a cool little fountain in there, and I always wondered why it never was on. It was broken. Uh, so, they're working on it now. Now, like I said, we have our Board of Architectural Review and the Preservation Society. And that's actually that's what helps me keep my job. Now, if you look over to the left, guys, this white house with the pink doors on it, you're welcome. Um, that house was built in 2020. <laughs> so, fits right in, doesn't it? It's, it's pretty gorgeous. Uh, and that's thanks to the Board of Architectural Review. Walk on, sweetheart. There you go. Yeah, that's thanks to our Board of Architectural Review. Uh, that when you build a house, even though it's a modern house, it has to look like the rest of the city. And these guys are from Florida, and uh, they like tourists. Uh, so we're happy that they're here. Uh, they, they're very, very nice people. Now, if you look over here, you can see the back of our old city jail, which I don't go by right now because they're working on it. You can see all the scaffolding and the stuff on the front of it. 
The reason I don't go buy it is because the last time I went by it, about a month and a half ago, all the hair on my arms stood up. Uh, that is known as one of the haunted, most haunted buildings here in Charleston. Uh, so we stay away from that. Uh, but when I cross the street, there is a cream color building. No, we're going straight. You know I don't go that way. Uh, there's a cream color building that's kind of a cool building. And it's our old Marine Hospital. It's built in the 1830s. Got the American flag on it right there. So that is uh, where we got help the Confederate soldiers during the Civil War. But after that, it was turned into the Jenkins Orphanage. Now, yeah, hey, somebody missed their diapers. I might put out a back signal and let them come pick it up. It happens sometimes. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. 